let's offer the pranam mantras om yanati mirandasya jnananjana shalakaya chakshurun militam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha namo vishnu padaya krishna prishtaya bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyabhati Paschat Deshatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Vishenamaha he Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bando Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kansha Namostute Tapta Kansha Nagaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhano Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpatarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Kyayevacha Patitanam Pavanibhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namunnaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gauda Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna So welcome you all for us. Um, FOE level 3, this is level 3 and today we have a very special topic, lust and its antidote and uh, before we enter into the subject, let's offer our respectful obeisances to Mr. Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada, the founder of Acharya of International Society for Krishna Consciousness, E.C. Way. So we are eternally indebted to Srila Prabhupada. So now, this subject matter that we are going to discuss today, it is uh, from the third chapter of Bhagavad Gita, the last few shlokas, you know, which is there. So it is, we are going to base our discussion based on that. So 36 onwards, shloka number 36 onwards, it is there. 36 to 43. So these are the set of shlokas that we are going to see today. So, in this set of shlokas, the, uh, like Arjuna is actually asking Krishna, so like, uh, I don't want to do sinful activities, but then I'm forced to do. So you might have come across this section in uh, some other PPTs also. So, but then um, here we are going to put much more emphasis and focus on this particular section and go a little more deeper in studying this. Uh, so first of all, uh, who is our real enemy? So, any guess who is our real, real enemy? Mind is our real enemy. Anything else? Okay. So, desires. Desires means it is in the platform of mind. Huh? Maya. <laughs> so Maya is a real enemy or real friend. So Maya actually pushes us towards, you know, this one to make us more serious in Krishna consciousness. <laughs> yeah. So these many, uh, this one's all these, you know, answers are right. You know, mind is our real enemy, and even the material nature itself actually pushes us towards sense gratification. So that is there and then the desires you know that is there so now in concise you now krishna actually answers very nicely so first of all we'll see the question of arjuna arjuna is actually asking a question uh, arjuna vacha so we'll chant this lokas arjuna vacha atakena prayukto yam papam charati purushah Anichan api varshneya bala divaniyo jitaha. So Arjuna said, O descendant of Vrishni, by what's one impelled to sinful acts, even unwillingly, as if engaged by force? This is making a lot of sense. 
टाइम इज नीडेड है तो थोड़ा अच्छा है बट देन नहीं आएगा थोड़ा बेटर है बेटर है कि वर्स्ट है सो या लाइक नो अर्जुन इज आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन सो वॉट इज बाई वॉट इज वन इम्पेल्ड टू सिंफुल एक्ट्स even unwillingly as if engaged by force so i don't want to do sinful activities but then there is some force i know that it is sinful i know i should not be doing it but uh, there is some force that is actually acting upon us so this we have discussed in some other classes as well so this particular uh, shloka uh, so krishna is actually answering this question in the very next shloka uh, so let's chant this shri bhagavan uvach कामेश क्रोधेश रजो गुण सहाशनो महापा विद्यन बैरिन ओके द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड इट सेट इट इज लस्ट ओनली अर्जुन विच इज बॉर्न ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट विथ मेटीरियल मोड ऑफ पैशन एंड लेटर ट्रांसफॉर्म इट टू वार and which is the all devouring sinful enemy of this world right so krishna is actually pointing uh, towards lust so what is the meaning of lust strong strong desire okay kama means yeah so lust is something to uh, enjoy something which doesn't belong to us so that's one of the definitions and uh, our real relationship with the supreme lord is one of love and the opposite you know of that is called as the lust you know so our relationship you know with the supreme lord is that you know the lord is a master and we are his servant and that's the real love that exists right so and then the perverted this one like when we try to become the master and when we try to no master requires some subordinate right like no praja ka bina raja ka kuch matlab nahi hai na so like we need to have some subordinate and who are those subordinates no do we have any subordinates no we don't have any subordinates because everything that exists belongs to the lord and no he controls and owns everything no the isha upanishad first shloka it talks about isha vashya midam sarvam etkincham jagat yam jagat thena takena bunjita magrita kasya sutana so like everything that exists animate and inanimate everything belongs to the lord right and then he gives to us as a quota you no know, little bit and then we should be happy with that quota and we should not encroach upon another's quota so that is the first shloka of ishopanishad so in this we see that you now if we have been given a particular beauty as a quota it jitna bhi hum circus karenge to usse zyada nahi banega you know and even if we get something better than that you no know, then it will become a cause of a problem for us you no know, because our system is not designed to accommodate that extra you no know. if we are designed to get a particular amount of wealth you no know, then uh, our lifestyle everything will be planned according to that so if we get one rupee more also it will be problematic for us you no know, it is not going to be you no know, easy for us you know so it's like uh, you know you have a uh, travel bag and then koi kuch luggage de rahe like isko नो लेके चले जाओ लाइक अब जो भी डेस्टिनेशन में जा रहे हैं एंड देन द लगेज द पार्सल दैट दे गिव इज लाइक मोर बिगर देन योर ट्रैवल बैग सो देन इट विल नॉट फिट इन है ना एंड थ्रू आउट द जर्नी यू आर गोइंग टू बी लाइक नो डिस्कम्फर्ट नो सो दैट इज द वे लाइक द कोटा दैट इज गिवन टू एस नो एवरीथिंग दैट एक्सिस्ट बिलोंग्स टू द लॉर्ड एंड बेस्ड ऑन अवर कर्म वी आर गोइंग टू गेट सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ कोटा एंड अवर होल लाइफ इज डिसाइंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट no so we should not hanker for so more things so that's that's that particular shloka of ishopanishad talks about so anyways we don't have any subordinates we don't have anything to control over and lord over and things like that even that has to be given by the lord only okay like we want to become master to le le you know some things to control you know so like that the lord actually gives uh, so then that is called the lust you know that relationship you know the false relationship that we have with this material world the false relationship that we have with things around us you know that is called as the lust right so and uh, from this lust 
no, he is telling that Arjuna, which is born of contact of material mode of passion and later transformed into Varth. No, Varth is uh, anger. Right? So, uh, passion, uh, this uh, lust comes from passion and anger comes from. Uh, that is okay, like in the nature. Ignorance. No? Anger comes in the mode of ignorance, actually. So, mode of passion can actually channelize us or drive us from passion to ignorance or we can actually take you know, take ourselves from passion to goodness as well. You no, know, it is based on the practice, you know, what practice we actually do. So now, uh, we have, there is from Bhagavad Gita 262, there is a nice shloka that is there. Dhyayato Vishayan Pumsa Sangate Shubhajayate Sangat Sanjayate Kama Kama Krodo Bijayate so, Dhyayato Vishayan. Vishaya means what? Huh? Subject. Subject. So, for our senses, you know, the subject is the sense objects, right? So, the sense objects is the one, like, you know, through which we enjoy, right? So, like, uh, the sense objects, Vishayan, generally in the technical terms in the scriptures, wherever this word Vishaya comes, it is, uh, it means the sense objects, right? So, Dhyayato Vishayan. So when we contemplate on the sense objects, you know, then what happens? Dhyayato vishayan pumsa sangate shubhajayate sangat sanjayate kama. So like uh, when we contemplate on the sense objects, we develop attachment towards them. You no, know? once we develop attachment, then like sangat sanjayate kama. You no, know, lust actually develops, right? So attachment increases and it develops into a lust. You know, a desire, strong desire to enjoy that particular this one. And when the lust is unfulfilled, anger comes, you know. So then if the lust is fulfilled, then anger will not come, no? Huh? It never gets fulfilled. That's the biggest problem. Even if we give way, you know, like uh, even if somebody wants to enjoy a particular foodstuff, right? So he tries to enjoy and it is very limited you know, amount of time that he can actually get some kind of a pleasure. And then after some time, he'll get uh, dissatisfied, you know. So, like uh, over a period of time, if he over consumes that, so then it causes indigestion and you no know, other problems and satiation comes up and there's limit with you no know, to which you can actually eat. So, all those things are there. So, it somehow or other it results in final end result as you no know, dissatisfaction, right. So, in another place in Bhagavad Gita, it is mentioned. So, the contact between the senses and the sense objects, it is a sure short formula for misery. No? So, that is the uh, conclusion of the scripture, that is the, uh, that's the statement of Bhagavad Gita. So, now here in this particular, this one, we see that how the lust actually arises. So, Ar no, Krishna is telling, it is lust only Arjuna, which is the all devouring sinful enemy of this world. No, he mentions that. And where does this lust come from? in this particular equation? Huh? Sense objects. Senses and sense objects coming together. No? And thinking about the sense objects, contemplating about the sense objects, that is the whole root of the whole problem of lust. Right? So, this is, you know, just remember this point in the later on, like when we go forward. So, we will again touch upon this. So, you may come. You are able to see? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So, uh, we will touch upon this again. So, the lust is the all devouring sinful enemy of this world and it comes from, you know, senses and sense objects coming together, right? So, that is the this one. And senses and sense objects coming together means if I do not, if I lock up myself in a room where there is no sense objects are there, can I be free from lust? Senses of, sense objects are not there. Senses are not coming in contact with sense objects. Yeah, the sense objects actually exist in the form, like in the in the mental form as well. So it is not that object itself, you know, if if there is a nice mango is there, right? And then uh, it's like it's very nicely attractive. And then, uh, you know, you touch and feel and then, you know, you try to eat it. So by the time you are trying to eat already like, there is so much of saliva has been your, in your mouth and then you understand it is a rubber mango. No? So actually there is real mango was not there but what was it it was triggering all your emotions and you know, salivation and all those things. What is that it was doing? 
it is not the mango which was there in the table it is another mango which is there in the the sense objects the counterpart the real sense object is there in the mind right so now we see that uh, uh, there are different kinds of living entities are there a dog you no know, for example it is attracted to a female dog you no know? but a human being is not attracted to that you no know, this one so how is it possible like you know one living entity is attracted to another you no know, one kind of a sense object another living entity is not attracted to it so how is it possible so our sense like when we get this human form of life so our mental program is also done you no know, these are all the sense objects that you will be attracted to right so and then further programming is also there sometimes like you no know, there is some kind of tragedy that happens in you know some people's life you know whereas they are uh, when they were you know very small so some kind of sexual abuse happens with them and then they turn into homosexual and things like that right so it is it is because of some kind of a wrong samskara that has been you no know, put inside like you no know, he's been trained in that particular way so then his whole orientation actually changes right so the mind also like over a period of time you no know, a particular kind of a uh you no know, sense gratification offered to him he starts liking it you no know? so in in fact there is one uh, one devotee was mentioning like when human being if he commits so much of sinful activities and he has to become a pig you no know? and then like in this life he has no experience of like the ways and uh, activities of the pig right so now how will he if he immediately if he is given a body of a pig he'll get a shock of his life you know so then he is taken to the hellish planets and he is given cross culture training no what is that cross culture training he is put into a very obnoxious well where all kind of obnoxious things are there so for some time he'll be like you no know, catching his nose and he'll be like this and then after some time he'll start liking that smell and after some time he'll start liking the taste of the obnoxious things so once he is completely trained in that then he is given the body of a pig no i will like no okay now you have got accustomed to it no so like that so in this way we see that the senses and sense objects coming in contact and then the contemplation that happens actually so that uh, no through that the sense objects are mapped you no know, in the mind so even if the sense objects are not there you no know, in front of us you no know, then the like the thought of it itself actually triggers the action you no know? so there is uh, you no know, like many of the times the youths actually they struggle no with uh, the uh, sense control and uh, especially because of the so much of bombardment in the modern day you know this one so sometimes like uh, youths actually come up with this complaint that uh, you no know, we we don't want to think of the opposite sex and things like that but somehow in the dreams you no know, like we get the thought of it and then you no know, some tragedy happens in the night so like you no know, we have not actively tried to do something but then you no know, the images actually come right so this is all like the sense objects are stored in the mind you no know? so external sense objects when it is there you no know, that, that actually triggers the like sense object which is there in the mind and actually starts to happen so the contemplation on the sense objects one is actively you may contemplate even after you stop contemplating actively so the images what has gone inside already the data what has gone inside already that will not you no know, aise hi nahi jayega like no that will the processing will keep going on actually so the sadhana process when we try to when we uh, try to do the sadhana process the first you no know, few years is going to go in erasing all those things you no know? so before it comes to some positive um, you no know, growth in uh, you no know, krishna consciousness or positive growth towards self realization the first initial stage of the sadhana is going to go in cleansing the mind actually cleansing the mind of all the dirty things that are there so then a person can come to a stage where he is not so much bothered about the lust so it is uh, no one um, devotee was mentioning that in the initial phase of a sadhaka you no know, he will feel like you no know, i am doing devotional service but then uh, before that i was not getting so much of sexual thoughts or so much of sense gratification thoughts so now i started doing now i am getting too much thoughts like this you no know, what is happening तो भक्ति कुछ उल्टा काम कर रहे क्या सो देन द डिवोटी वाज मेंशनिंग दैट यू नो देयर इज अ डर्टी रूम दैट इज देयर व्हिच इज डर्टी सिंस लॉन्ग टाइम तो एक्सटर्नली इट मे अपीयर लाइक नो एवरीथिंग इज ओके नो एक बार झाड़ू लगाएंगे तो व्हाट विल हैपन मोर डस्ट विल कम इन द एयर यू नो सो देन इट विल अपीयर दिस रूम इज टू डर्टी यू नो 
actually like the room was always dirty you know because the dirt got sedimented so we are not able to understand it so in the same way like you know the lust and all these thoughts all these things are you know from lifetimes after lifetimes we have been like accumulating all these things and it is there in the subconscious mind and when we try to practice sadhana first thing is it is like jadu marne jaisa you know all those things will start coming up you know so when it starts coming up then we should not be worried about you no know? so room clean karne ke time pe kya karte hain when we are grooming if too much dust is there what what we'll do ha huh? ha ah, we'll mask hai na to mask karna chahiye aur jadu continue karna chahiye hai na so here in this case in our case we should just ignore the like uh, bombardment of desires that is actually coming in the mind and we should just simply follow the sadhana process over a period of time you no know, when the dust is completely cleansed wo dua sab nikal jayega you know so that is very important this one so here the sense of contemplation on the sense objects dhyayato vishayan pumsa that is the you no know, key aspect you know, which is going to trigger all these things so generally we actually give an example of a, a person who is trying to jump from a cliff you no know, jump from a hill right so like once he jumps you no know, then he passes through altitude a b c you no know, he and then finally gets crashed into the floor so now when is he when does he have a choice to reverse his action before jumping right and in the same way in this equation also there is you see like there is no arrows coming in between so the jumping from the cliff is what contemplation on the sense objects so senses and sense objects come together then this whole equation will start you don't have any control further no so ekdam start mein like you have control to udhar no suchan karenge like then you don't have any control no it just happens so then the next shloka of this is uh, uh, krodhat bhavati sammoha sammoda sammoha smriti vibrama smriti bramshat buddhi nasha buddhi nasha pranashati right so krodhat bhavati sammoha so bewilderment actually comes and then sammoha smriti vibrama so like Uh, intelligence is lost and then uh, like uh, smriti bamshat buddhi nasha buddhi nasha pranashat so like so he is after that like no he doesn't have any sense right so many times people have a lot of hue and cry about you know this rape cases happens and many different atrocities happens and then we should make the rules very stringent you no know? we should make very very strict rules that anybody will fear you no know, how much ever strict rules are made still these things are happening why it is happening no because contemplation of the sense objects no if people say that no women should dress nicely so they say no this is our freedom no this is our freedom to show our body so they say that and uh, there is free mingling of like uh, what is that uh, man and women is given and then there is all kind of obscene things are put in the social media and in the you no know, uh, movies and everywhere and uh, all the promotions and everything so like real culprit who is the real culprit for all the uh, what is it uh, social evils that are happening huh? media social media and then advertisements and films and all these things and provocative music you no know, all these things like the whole environment is tuned like that and now if people make more and more stricter rules for these social evils you now will the will the social evils get curtailed no because people there is so much of opportunity for dhyayato vishayan no there is so much of opportunity for the senses to engage or contemplate about the sense objects These are so like freely uh, no available everywhere so then after that you say like you know these things should not happen so it's like it is only because of agyana like the people are struggling with a problem the solution is there in bhagavad gita but nobody wants to you no know, take the solution the solution is we have to fix the problem in the root you no know? root cause analysis no bolte na like so we have to fix the problem in the root if that is not fixed so then we will be struggling with this problems you may make so many different um, adjustments and so many different rules and more punishment and more uh, what is that uh, like people go on the rally and you uh, know so should not happen and things like that the very same person who is going in the rally the next week he may commit the same crime you know so there is why it is happening because the root is not fixed 
No? So because the, the whole equation has to happen. So now, let's see, you know, from words of Srila Prabhupada, can somebody read this thing? So we see that this, when lust is unsatisfied, it actually turns into you know, anger or wrath, and then it, is tran it transforms into illusion. So we saw the whole equation, you know, how it is actually, you know, when a uh, person is in the stage of anger, so he loses his intelligence, you know, he loses his composure, and then you know, he just does anything and everything. Right? So an illusion continues the material existence. So this is the way of continuity of a living entity in the material existence. And uh, therefore, you no, know, this lust is the greatest enemy. So, and it has byproducts. You no, know, from the lust, it comes the wrath. Lust is, as we discussed, it is in the mode of passion. Passion triggers the lust, and then ignorance actually triggers the wrath. Right? And uh, continuation of it. Anyone else can read? Okay, so now here we see prescribed method of living and acting. So now, uh, like, can we correlate this with the Vedic culture? How does Vedic culture help us? How does Vedic culture help us? Yeah, in uh, practical aspects, whatever we have discussed till now, the lust actually triggers, you know, lust, the origin of lust is from se no, senses and sense objects coming together. So the Vedic culture, you know, what, what all things were there you know, to uh, help us you know, mitigate this thing? Hmm. Yeah. First of all, the boys were not exposed to girls. You know? so, and the girls also, when they would come in the public, so they would have a proper kind of a dressing so that uh, the boys are taught, you know, like uh, this one, uh, you know, this, you should see a woman as what? Mother, you know, women as mother. So Chanakya Pandit says, the sign of an educated man. So what all things he says? Matravat paradareshu, losravat paradravyeshu, atmavat sarva bhuteshu, yapashyati sapandita. Right? So a learned man <laughs> is a person who sees every woman as mother. Right? So, and then, Loshavat Paradravyeshu, like not having, uh, means attachment to Paradravya. Dravya means like, uh, what is that, uh, wealth or any any object uh, another person has, Paradravya. So, Loshravat. Loshravat means like to see it like a garbage, you know. So, garbage you will not mind. You know, there is so much of garbage in the street, you, when you walk, you will not mind about it, right. So, in the same way, another's wealth, you know, should be seen as, garbage. No, I should not touch that. No, that's the sign of a learned man. If another person is having some wealth, oh, like, no, I'm developing greediness. Oh, he has so much wealth. He has so much facilities. He has all these things. That means we should understand such thoughts are coming in the mind. That means we should understand, no, this person is a, not a very learned person. He is not a pandita. No, he is not. He doesn't have good intelligence, right? So, and then, Atma Vat Sarva Bhuteshu. So, every other living entity we should consider like ourselves, you know, like uh, means if we d have a pain in something, so then we should understand other person also will get pain in this particular thing. So I should not do this very same thing to the other person, you know, like uh, putting oneself in the shoes of others, you know, like that. So this is the sign of a Pandita, so like seeing women as mother. So now if women dress very badly, you know, how will this consciousness will come, you know? So the boys are like struggling. Are Mataji, ye Mataji ho sakte kya? You know, so kisi bhi angle mein Mataji nahi dikhti hai. You know, so in fact, this happened. One um, one of our devotees, you know, in the in in his office, he actually called his colleague, you know, Mataji, you know, and then that girl got very angry. You know, kaun si angle mein Mataji dikhti hai? You know, 
so the devotee got like very puzzled you know like so this this kind of a response from a girl you no know? so he was like so puzzled like you know so even they feel it is an insult to call us mata ji means like mother mother means very little older this one na so like unko insult lag gaya you know to main budhi hu kya like you know mujhe kyun aisa bula raha hai hai na so like that so but then it is a sign of respect you know that's how the vedic culture actually teaches so this vedic culture if you see everything is optimized you no know? it is not foolishly it is done you no know, saying like you no know, these people are backward and they didn't know like how to treat women you no know, they didn't know how to actually uh, what is that uh, how to actually do enjoyment of this world so they were quite backward you no know? this is the opinion that they that common people have but then they have so much troubles for you know why pick packet is happening why so much crime is happening why rape is happening and all these things so somewhere seriously they are missing out you know they are thinking that they are you no know, very very intelligent they are able to do everything nicely and the vedic system was quite backward so but then the problems like because of their new inventions the problems are only increasing they are not able to stop the problems right so in the vedic culture if we see you no know, everything was optimized you no know, for like uh, sense control and the control of lust and everything was so nicely optimized for this particular purpose and that is why it requires a culture you know this uh, advancement in spiritual life it is not just some theoretical knowledge it is not just some practice that we are going to do it requires a culture you know so now in uh, the modern day scenario so we actually lack in that culture so culture means it is not one person's job two person's job culture means it's a job of community you know like the whole culture of the society like you no know, culture means it it involves a lot of people you know so that is required had actually to advance in spiritual life so in the lack of that particular this one you no know, lack of culture you no know, in the widespread this one we don't have that kind of a culture in the outside world so then what do we do so we at least try to live in the association of devotees interact with devotees and things like that and then uh, we learn how to actually you know see the outside world in a proper perspective right so that is quite uh, essential so this culture you no know, the what uh, shila prabhupad many places he says why we actually uh, establish its con centers at various places so to develop a community of devotees and to actually bring in you know this nice culture you know so now this simple culture of wearing dhoti kurta you know like some devotees here they are wearing dhoti kurta so this simple culture this itself pacifies mind like anything you know so a dress like uh, which is uh, uh, what is it this t-shirt pant and things like that so this can actually trigger the mode of passion even every object around us can actually trigger you know a particular kind of a this one so it has you know every single thing that we are doing you know as part of the culture it has a lot of impact actually you know so uh, like why do people not go in dhoti kurta to a uh, bar or a pub <laughs> because that that dress doesn't you know wo pura emotions like nahi aa pata hai na so like wo setting ke liye like kuch alag uh, no feel aana chahiye na so uske liye aisa jaate hain and then why do people dress in a different way when they go to some events and functions and things like that so marriages and things like that so us get up mein like no it it actually gives some conducive emotions and things like that the same way when we are trying to pacify our mind and things like that so the vedic dresses the uh, vedic dress which is there so that actually you no know, helps us you know the vedic system like in i i just want to impress upon this point each and every small thing that is done in the vedic culture has a lot of impact in our you no know, mind and in our uh, in our uh, development of uh, you know progress towards krishna consciousness you know so that's why it is prescribed method of living and acting you no know, that is very much important you know to actually achieve this particular thing hmm. so this is from purport of the same shloka that we were reading you no know? so and uh, the next shloka it is very nice and important dume na virjate vaknir yata darsho malena cha yata darsho malena cha yato yato lebe na vruto garbas तथा थेने तमावृतम सो दिस वर्ड आवृत सो मेनी प्लेसेस नो यू विल एनकाउंटर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन सो आवृत मींस व्हाट एनी आइडिया हां 
avrutha so this is like you no know, when i i definitely know you don't know this particular word. so like uh, how does this work so in shila propats purports when you read you know one devotee was mentioning it actually triggers intelligence and it actually makes your intelligence very sharp so why it makes your intelligence sharp so because shila propat when he explains a particular point he puts a question and then he solves it so when a question is put then the mind becomes open and when the answer is given so that last long for long time right so it is uh, that, that's how you know we make this whole exercise of question answer so even if you don't know it is not a problem but then like when the question is asked then the intelligence starts working and when the answer comes so then that becomes very easy for us to remember for a long time avruta means to cover you know to cover so dume uh, navrute av viryate vaknir so like agni you no know, is covered by uh, dumena so dumena means like smoke you no know? so the this one uh, as this uh, as fire covered by smoke and then um, this uh, mirror covered by dust and then uh, embryo em- embryo is covered by womb you no know, these three examples are given right so like if you see the fire covered by smoke you can see still the symptoms of fire you no know? so fire is there underneath you know right so its covering is little thinner you know you know the subject which is there underneath the covering the next example that is given is mirror covered by dust so you cannot see the mirror if the dust is fully thickly covering the mirror you cannot see the mirror but one thing is in this example is you can easily dust out you know then the mirror can be brought out very easily and then the next example is the uh, embryo covered by the womb so the baby which is there within the womb of the mother so this is a very thick covering you cannot see the baby within that and you cannot just like you know in the previous example we did like you no know, you just dust the mirror you can see the mirror no aisa bhi nahi dekh sakte you know no maine wait karna padega like pata hone ke liye andar kya tha hai na so it is uh, yeah these days like people do scan and stuff like that but still like you no know, by your uh, naked eyes you cannot actually see that right so it is thicker and thicker covering it is mentioned so it is mentioned that the thickest covering when the lust covering of the lust becomes too thick then the living entities symptoms the life symptoms becomes you no know, curtailed you no know, will become dull and uh, very manda you no know? so the uh, this one the plants uh, you know the uh, living entities like plants and very inert beings are there so they are no that means like their lust covering is too strong too thick and then the next is like animals so their covering of lust is little more lighter so like mirror and this one and then the human beings where the lust covering is so thin the life symptoms are more easily visible right so like manda the nature of dullness actually comes from too much of thick covering of lust right so this is the uh, this one and uh, how does the lust come more indulgence in the sense objects so like people think that now i can uh, enjoy my life very nicely now i will enjoy i will indulge with the sense gratification nicely so then the result will be what huh no no here in this particular uh, discussion that we are having what is the result that is going to come no 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 just now we were discussing this point thickness of the covering makes what dull he'll become dull you no know, too much of sense gratification results in dullness you no know? so it is not that it is not intelligence to you know enjoy too much you know so too much of sense gratification actually results in dullness of the personality right so this is the different degrees of covering of the lust and then uh, uh, the next shloka kindly chant after me आवृतम ज्ञानमेतेनो निवैरी कामूपेण कौंतेय दुस्पूरे नल ओके सो आवृत अगेन वॉट इज आवृत कवरिंग नो आवृत वॉट इट इज कवरिंग वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट वर्ड दट इज देर ज्ञानम no the intelligence of the living entity is covered by this lust no that's why the thickness of the lust 
then the intelligence is covered when the intelligence is covered he will become dull right so avrutam jnanam etena jnanino nitya vairina so nitya means continuous right vairina means we didn't discuss that at the beginning enemy yeah so vairina means enemy so nitya vairina no so even in the this one kama yesha krodha yesha rajoguna samudbhava mahashano mahapapma vidyenam iha vairinam no there also the same word comes right so in this way like we can our sanskrit vocabulary like no increases you know so we'll analyze the shlokas little bit so jnanina nitya vairina so this eternal enemy of the this one so here it is not talked about okay kama rupena it is mentioned kama rupena kaunte here so this kama the lust is the eternal enemy of the jnanina no intelligent being no he is the and what does he do to this intelligent being he covers his intelligence and makes him dull at it right so jnani no nitya varina kama rupena kaunteya duspurena anilena cha so and how does it how does this lust actually functions it actually it's like you no know, it it f- uh, burns like fire you no know? duspurena anilena cha anala anala means fire right so so the why uh, thus the wise living entity's pure consciousness becomes covered by his eternal enemy in the form of lust which is never satisfied and which burns like fire right so lust is what i want to enjoy something to theek hai like no de de to satisfy ho jayega usko so like no he wants to enjoy something so you give him a little bit of sense gratification then what happens according to the shloka what is mentioned here what is the last line never satisfies and what is the next thing that is mentioned burns like fire so in the fire no fire is hungry for fuel if you pour fuel what the fire will do it will last for more the fire will increase and it will last for more so the sense gratification the thought of sense gratification it is like this you no know, the lust is it is like this it will, you can never satisfy the lust by giving providing the you no know, demanded sense gratification it is not possible so by constant supply of sense objects so it is only the demand is going to be, become more and more and more right so that is why we see that people you know when they come into uh, their professional life uh, or uh, you know first like ek acha job lag gaya to acha hai you know so then after that what happens huh after that like thoda aur zyada pay milega to acha hai and <laughs> or then after that like you no know, positions and like positions and things like that no all these things jada hona chahiye jada hona chahiye are like initially i thought that if i would get a job i'll be satisfied i got the job why still i am not satisfied even so many years you know because satisfaction cannot come through that way you know by constant supply of this one we will not be able to get satisfied so in the material life some level we should apply the satisfaction you know we should try to you know see that okay like no my basic needs are met no things are met like it's okay no this is okay so sometimes people think that i have to earn for my children and what if they don't take care of it nicely i have to earn for my grandchildren also you know so this is too much of thought you know unka karma mein jo hai wahi hoga you know if those people are you not know, to be born uh, like to experience poverty how much ever richness you bring in they will uda denge you know and they will remain poor right so we should see that to some extent we should do our duty and then we should see that our real business is like to perfect our life in you no know, in the process of self realization right so that is most important no there is no end to like material wealth there is no end to like material perfection so we should try to do minimal you no know, as much as it is needed you no know, that much uh, and it keeps burn fire right so and it covers the like why should i not enjoy this purport and also for the conversation purport of the same shloka someone else who have not read hmm so there is definitely there is happiness no when we engage the senses and the sense objects no sometimes uh, devotees ask like you know boys ask that ki you know prabhu ji itna bol rahe hain aap like senses and sense objects mein enjoyment nahi hai but the practical dikh raha hai na 
एंजॉयमेंट तो है आप ऐसा कैसे बोल सकते हैं एंजॉयमेंट नहीं है नो हाउ कैन यू से दैट देयर इज नो एंजॉयमेंट नो देयर इज एंजॉयमेंट सो इट इज लाइक यू नो ये थोड़ा ज्यादा ही हो गया है ना सो प्रोफेसर इज टेलिंग दैट डेफिनेटली देयर इज सम फीलिंग ऑफ हैप्पीनेस बट सो दैट इट इज स्नेक इज वेरी डेंजरस बट देन और खींच के नो बाइट करते हैं है ना सो दैट इज मोर डेंजरस सो सेंस क्रेटिफिकेशन इज प्रॉब्लम नो बट देन the more problematic thing about the sense gratification it's very attractive also you know so it's more it's very attractive also and because of which it is katarna combination actually you know so and then so still this point remains that you know we are we expected to be like a sadist not having any enjoyment in life everything you no know, deprival of our senses completely and things like that so why so why not i enjoy you know why i should not enjoy this world so this question again and again comes so there is a nice this one actually uh, purport uh, lecture in a lecture shila propad actually mentions anyone else can read so now if somebody is having stomach upset so and he desires to eat samosa right to unko bolna hai ki like thoda sa no sahan ja like sahan lo no then uh, like you get cured no in 2 3 days like you take medication you take precautions and then once you become all right then there is no limit no you can go for a samosa competition also you know to so, like no 20 samosa 30 samosa ek saath mein kha sakte hai you know so that is the current condition is we are in a diseased condition of life and in the diseased condition there is precautions and restrictions are needed you know so if you really want to enjoy first we have to come out of the diseased condition and then there is unlimited enjoyment that is there you know in fact anandamaya abhyasa the first like one of the first aphorisms of the vedanta sutra which is considered to be the essence of all the vedic literature it says that anandamaya abhyasa all the living entities by nature they like to enjoy no why because the source of all the living entities is krishna and krishna likes to enjoy and no it is not a wrong it is not something wrong in our part that we want to enjoy but the problem is like we don't know the right process of enjoyment and we are not in the right condition now to enjoy right so we are in a diseased condition now it is not time for performing tapasya it's time for restraining our senses and then once we become purified there is ample opportunity for enjoyment right so there is like lifelong enjoyment that is there so if one practice to tolerate the so called urges of sense pleasure then he becomes very happy at a long run right so it's a very nice solid point actually and then um, he recommend it's like a, it's krishna recommends it so it's you know proper this talking about a particular bhagavad gita shloka and that the real purpose of that is a real purpose of human life no and one should not try to derive happiness from every single aspect so we should try to see it's just like you no know, one should not uh, uh, when a s- child is studying you no know, parents bolte rehte like you know jyada khelo mat you no know, acche se padhai karo and things like that so it is the parent doesn't want the child to enjoy the real enjoyment for the child comes from the play but then the parent is telling that no no you study so study well and then you put your energy on that and things like that so why because there is a long term enjoyment that is there you no know? in the future there is long term enjoyment that is there so in the same way you no know, in the material diseased condition of existence you no know, the prescription is you try to restrict you try to regulate you no know? it is not that no enjoyment you try to regulate you no know, you have to eat but then you eat in a moderate way you no know, so that you maintain a nice health and in that way you can enjoy so not the false enjoyment of like kuch bhi kale like kitna bhi kale and after that no deceased no after uh, what is that people get these days like people get cancer very quickly and then uh, at a very early age and because of so much of wrong usage of the body right and then people get so many different kinds of diseases in uh, right in the age of you no know, 35 40 45 and things like that so why so no because something they thought as an enjoyment and they exploited it very much and it actually spoils their 
life right so actually the vedic principles of regulation it is it should not be seen as so ye to enjoyment ko rokne ho and then next thing nahi aa raha tha so like wo fir things like that nahi nahi aap mujhe like non veg chhodne ke liye bolenge अरे कुछ बोला ही नहीं लेकिन नो छोड़ो मत लेकिन आप खाते रहो नो कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं नहीं मैं लाइक नो ये पढ़ते रहूंगा तो मैं ही खुद छोड़ दूंगा अच्छा ही है ना लेकिन आप ही खुद से छोड़ दे तो अच्छा ही है नहीं नहीं मैं नहीं आऊंगा सो पीपल आर सो मच ऑफ राइट दैट नो समथिंग विच लाइक इट्स वेरी नाइस फॉर देयर लाइफ सो बाई ईटिंग नॉन वेज नो समी इज गोइंग टू गेट लाइक दैट वेरी एनिमल इज गोइंग टू किल इम इन द नेक्स्ट लाइफ सो वी आर सेविंग इम फ्रॉम सो मच ऑफ so much of misery <laughs> no 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 <laughs> i will, i will not come right so it is that is the that is the condition of this world you know like this regulation they think that it is something you no know, they are going to put stoppage in our enjoyment no the regulation is meant for long durable enjoyment you no know? long durable enjoyment it's not that all enjoyment ek din uske baad pura life suffering you no know? that is not a very good deal in fact krishna explains this thing you no know? person in the mode of passion for him no this like he looks for immediate enjoyment and then like he is ready to suffer you no know, throughout his life and a person in mode of goodness you no know, satva gun mein jo hai like you no know, what he will do he will first he will do like all the austerities penances and things like that it appears like you no know, visham eva you no know, uh, and then like uh, the end you no know, uh, uh, what is it it turns out to be like nectar it end it turns out to be like very sweet and in the mode of passion immediate enjoyment and lifelong suffering right so that is that is how the mode of passion actually works so now in this process we are trying to you know move ourselves slowly slowly towards the mode of goodness so whereas like we are trying to regulate our senses we are trying to practice you know nice principles you know which outside world people will laugh are like kya sadhu banne ja rahe you know like life life hai enjoy karne ke liye you know to like tumko bewakoof bana rahe hain no tumko sadhu bana rahe and things like that but actually speaking like no we are really enjoying right so we have nice kirtans nice prasad and then nice association and we discuss nice subjects and things like that so like all these things it's 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 actually enjoyment you know it actually gives long durable enjoyment right so that's that's how we are different from the this one like uh, for example a grahastha in the married life you no know, he lives with his wife and then you know he practices krishna consciousness and he practices regulated you know this ones in that way he actually makes a very nice family very happy family right so the same thing we see that like uh, sometimes our uh, devotees you know they go to their relatives house and things like that and they see that you know how much of like so much of irsha has so much of fights and this one and things like that and all externally looking you know, everything is nice but then a devotee family and a person who is like uh, living otherwise so there is so much of gulf of difference that is there right so they have that that whole uh, bliss of krishna consciousness is not there so that is why it is very important that you know this staggered this one is not a deprival of our enjoyment so but it is regulated enjoyment is actually long durable enjoyment right so that's a very important this one mm. so then uh, repeat after me इंद्रियानि मनो बुद्धिर इंद्रियानि मनो बुद्धिर अत्या अस्या दिष्टान मुच्यते अस्या दिष्टान मुच्यते एते विमोहयत्येष एते विमोहयत्येष ज्ञानम आवृत्य देहिनम ज्ञानम आवृत्य देहिनम सो आवृत्य कवरिंग ना ओके सो द इंद्रियानि मनो बुद्धिर सो इंद्रियानि मींस सेंसेस मन mind buddhi means intelligence no adhisthanam means what ha huh? adhisthanam means the place place no asya adhisthanam uchyate so like where does this enemy called the lust sit no what is its strategic positions so indriyani mano no the senses mind and intelligence no this is the sitting place of the lust right ether vimohayati so sitting here no he will bewilder the living entity no moha karna no so like how does he act no how does this lust our eternal enemy act upon us so by sitting on the strategic positions of no senses mind and intelligence right so the senses mind and intelligence are the sitting places of this lust 
through them lust covers the real knowledge of the living entity and bewilders him right so ether vimohayatiyashan no so now from the purport there is a nice this one sec right? so our enemy is there so if we are to attack the enemy so what is the thing that you need to know where is he no where is he his strength his weaknesses and all these things are needed so one of the initial information that we need is where is he no to goli marna to be like no kis direction mein marna hai we need to know that so the enemy has captured different strategic positions in the body of the conditioned soul and therefore krishna is giving hints to those hints of those places so that one who wants to conquer the enemy may know where he can be found right so if we want to conquer the lust we need to know where he can be found mind is the center of all activities of the senses and thus when we hear about the sense objects the mind generally becomes the reservoir of all ideas of sense gratification right so in the morning's class also prabhuji was mentioning you know some points like when we see a sense object mind follows it you no know? and then mind gives purport to that you no know? mind gives explanation okay this is a sense object you know like you can enjoy this in this particular way and you see like in the past people have enjoyed in this all these different ways and you can do much better as well right because you are more intelligent than people no <laughs> so in that way like the mind actually starts giving so many different purports and as a result the mind and the senses become the repository of the lust right the senses actually gets the audience of the sense objects and it develops the lust actually develops and then the mind becomes the repository mind and senses becomes the repository of this lust and next the intelligence department becomes the capital of such lustful propensities you know intelligence is the immediate next door neighbor of the spirit soul and lusty intelligence influences the spirit soul to acquire the false ego and identify itself with matter and thus with the mind and senses the spirit soul becomes addicted to enjoying the material senses and mistakes this as true happiness right so this is how the false happiness is made into uh, it's like so many products you know that is there in the market you know which is not very useful for us but still let us you know what is that it is marketed and sold also and we purchase also right so you know in the management studies it is mentioned that an expert uh, what is that expert businessman who is an expert businessman who can go to uh, what is that uh, eskimo like uh, or or uh, what is that uh, arctic antarctic regions and then he convinces people to buy a fridge you know <laughs> if he can do that then he is like expert you no know, expert what what you call salesman expert salesman so he is really like expert salesman so that's how the maya is acting we don't need the sense gratification but maya is actually posing it without this you no know, how can your life be successful you no know, there will be no meaning in your life you no know, life mein kuch rasi nahi rahega you know so like there is there is no taste in your life so in that way like the maya actually you no know, makes the this one so it is the senses mind and intelligence are the sitting places of this lust so no wonder all the yoga systems you go to any yoga system you go to ashtanga yoga you go to like any yoga system you no know, you take so what is the prescription that they give what is the prescription that they give ha huh? controlling the mind controlling the senses so the very same prescription so this is this is a standard thing like you no know, the problem when we identify the problem so it is just like you have a disease and what all options you have for treatment huh what are op- treatment options allopathy is there homeopathy is there ayurveda is there so all of them will work on the same disease and you no know, they have a similar pattern of working you no know? like maybe like overall there ways of working may be different but then the result is what the disease has to be cured in the same way like the real disease of the living entity is what we are affected by the lust and where does the lust sit mind intelligence and senses and no wonder all the yoga system will be working on these three things only so it may have different different varieties ashtanga yoga may like you know there is pranayama is there there is asanas are there so many different things are there for what purpose to control mind intelligence and senses and uh, jnana yoga mein like there is different thing is there karma yoga mein there is different ways of working is there and bhakti yoga mein there is different ways of working is there but all of it is meant for this in different different ways right so that is a, this one in the ashtanga yoga like uh, the first thing is yama niyama and then ah uh, 
which comes first asana or pranayam pranayam and then asana so then ha pratyahara comes later okay ha pratyahara and then dharana dhyana and samadhi right so that these are the steps that are there so now if you see like yama yama niyama the do's and don'ts so one of the important thing is ashtanga yoga cannot be practiced in city why it cannot be practiced because there should be a like physical restraint from the sense objects need to be there so if the sense objects are there then the whole process will become curtailed so maybe some bodily exercise can be done you know purpose of contest uh, you know we had once we had gone to uh, uh, brahmacharis like we wanted a uh, this one yoga you know <laughs> so like just for bodily fitness we to me aaj tak no so no need that what is that like uh, when people perform yoga so they wear tight suits and come and then it is quite uh, quite provocating actually no it is not it is not a yoga it is boga <laughs> no, that is happening <laughs> so <laughs> the three things that needs to be regulated that needs to be controlled and they work on these three things right so the next shloka tasmat tvam indriyanyadau tasmat tvam indriyanyadau adau means to start no adi right so tasmat tvam tvam means you like indriyani adau so starting with out of the three things what i am going to sub, like what i should regulate first senses right so it's a very important thing it's not that no first like mujhe mind control karna chahiye you know so tvam indriyani adau right so niyamya baratarshaba how should i do niyamya niyams rules and regulations yeah no vigyana nashanam tvans knowledge and realization and paapmanam uh, paapmanam prajahiyenam so paapmanam means uh, like what what is that which is going to destroy the jnana uh, vigyana nashanam lust in the symbol of sin so therefore o arjuna best of bharatas in the very beginning curb this great symbol of sin that is lust by regulating the senses hmm. and the slay this destroyer of knowledge and self realization so this guy is going to create destruction of knowledge and sense knowledge and self realization and you kill this enemy by what like by regulating the senses right so if the senses input is curtailed then the mind also over a period of time it will come down what is mentioned here a uh, connection with the lord in the platform of love and then the very same only you no know? so only krishna can satisfy all of our with krishna you no know, which is all no nirash ho jate hain aur to dusra usko cheez like no we keep trying different different options and things like that so but actually we are looking for that ever fulfilling you no know, fully you no know, in the material world right so when love of god deteriorates into lust it's very difficult to return to the normal condition it's very very difficult to reverse this process but the process of krishna consciousness is very powerful you know so the problem is very powerful and the solution is also equally very powerful you know so like the process of krishna consciousness is very powerful that even a late beginner can become a lover of god so this process you know the antidote you know like antidote you understand no what is an antidote cure for a problem the cure for a disease is called the antidote so antidote is krishna consciousness no how to do this thing a very systematic steps like we are going to have that we are going to see in the next session so but uh, no today we are understanding the problem in its depth no problem is lust and uh, what does the lust do to a living entity it covers what no it covers no- knowledge no of the living entity and then it makes the living entity dull right and then where does this lust actually sits mind intelligence and senses you no know, these are the places this lust actually sits and then a person who is uh, in knowledge he should try to uh, 
attack this enemy in these three places, right? So we are not in a world where must maja madi. No, it's not like that. We are faced with an enemy, and he's sitting just next to us. No, he's sitting just on us, <laughs> you know? and we have to handle him, right? So when we are free from this enemy, we have all possibility for enjoyment, right? So all possibility for enjoyment. So like even now we have enjoyment. You no know, nice prasad we can eat, not a problem, right? Nice. Association of devotees, nice kirtan and nice enjoyment in Krishna consciousness we can have, right? So, but then we should be very careful. This enemy called lust is sitting and he has to be handled, right? So, we have to apply ourselves to this Krishna consciousness because it's a very powerful process and it can actually reverse this condition from the lust to love, right? And then the continuation of it, another devotee can read. So the law is the highest perfectional stage of human life and then uh, you know, by practicing at least from the time of understanding, yes, like no, I am controlled by this material nature and in the name of enjoyment, you know, what is actually I am going through is a painful journey of repeated you know, dissatisfaction and things like that and uh, you no, know, I have to develop this love for the Lord and for that I have to regulate my senses, mind and intelligence and I have to apply myself to the process of Krishna consciousness. Right? So, and this word, Prabhupada uses this word urgency. Right? So we have to develop this urgency in making this process. Right? So this is all some nice teachings Srila Prabhupada is giving here in the purport. So then the next shloka, Indriyani Paranyahur Indriyabhya Paramanaha Manasastu Parabuddhir Yo buddhe paras paratas to tasaha. So para means what? Higher. Para means higher, no superior, right? So para means higher. Indriyani paranyahu, indri ebya param manaha. So the word than the senses and even more higher than intelligence, right? So the hierarchy is given. So why this hierarchy is given? So one is the low level is that you no know, input, where the input is there, we have to make sure that right input is given. And then, you no, know, this when the hierarchy is known, if you attack, like when uh, when somebody uh, attacks a person, you might have heard in the history books, when will the battle be uh, considered uh, finished? When the king is caught, you know, when the king is arrested or killed or something like that. So in the same way, you no. Know, if we apply the solution on a deeper level, if we happen to regulate or if we happen to uh, apply a solution at the level of soul, then what happens? Rest, no, all that which is there below it all comes under the control, right? So we are doing one kind of a regulation on the level of senses and we are engaging in the service of the Lord. So that is the engaging in the service of the Lord is a, a solution at the level of soul. So how does it become solution at the level of soul? We are part and parcel of Lord. We are meant to engage in the service of the Lord. Right? So that's the soul's original ego. Original identity is that I am servant of the Lord. And now what is the perverted identity? I am the enjoyer and everything that exists in this world is meant for my enjoyment. Right? So now when we engage in the service of the Lord, what happens? It's a solution at the root. You know, because the root problem is, no, I have, no, I have forgotten that I am servant of the Lord. So now I am engaged in the service of the Lord. It actually the solution applies in the deep rooted solution. That is why Krishna consciousness is very powerful process. Right? So Krishna consciousness is a very powerful process because it acts on the root problem. So like root problem is like I have forgotten that I am servant of the Lord. And solution is you know, engage in the service of the Lord. And how easy is that to do service of the Lord? Eating prasadam is also service. No, acha hai, like no, hai to, <laughs> bahut acha service hai. And acha kirtan karenge, usme naachenge, like, ye bhi service hota hai, like, ye bhi acha hai, no. <laughs> so this is also very nice, right? So the service of the Lord can be like so nicely, you know, uh, made in such a way that it can also give some kind of enjoyment to our senses as well, right? So in that way, like, you no, know, some services 
our little bit restrictions are there and some services we can enjoy right so in that way like we see that this is also a service you know when we apply the solution at a deeper level automatically the mind gets controlled automatically the senses also get controlled right so now you are in association of devotees and you have nice kirtan right so the senses ears are engaged with the sense objects hmm? so now in front of the lord you no know, with devotees with banging kirtan is going on can you think of a sense gratificatory object can you think of sense gratification how is it possible because you are engaged in the service of the lord and automatically your mind you no know, is taken off from the sense objects and your mind is like you know seeing all the devotees around and the holy name and the nice picture of the lord and things like that so it becomes a very powerful solution you know so immediately that actually acts upon hmm. and when it is done for a prolonged period of time it has a deeper impact you know on the living entity hmm. so then uh, the last shloka evam buddhe param budva evam buddhe param budva samstabhyatmanam samstabhyatmanam atmana jahi shatrum mahabaho kamarupam durasadam कितना गाली दे रहे हैं भगवान उसको सो दुरासदम मींस हर श्लोक में कुछ ना कुछ एडजेक्टिव डाल देते हैं उसको दुरासदम मींस फॉर्मिडेबल डिफिकल्ट टू कॉन्कर ओवर हिम काम और ओपन राइट इन द प्रीवियस दिस वन नो लाइक ही वाज मेंशनिंग दैट ज्ञान विज्ञान नाशनम नो दिस गाय एंड लाइक सिंबल ऑफ सिन नो भगवान ने बहुत एडजेक्टिव दे रहे हैं लस्ट लस्ट को यू नो सो ही इज सिंबल ऑफ दिस वन ही इज योर एटर्नल एनिमी ही कवर्स योर रियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड देन उसके बाद बोलेंगे भगवान समझ गया लाइक नो ये मेरा एनिमी द मटेरियल सेंसेस माइंड एंड इंटेलिजेंस दैट मींस आत्मा जो है नो इट इज बियॉन्ड द माइंड सेंसेस एंड इंटेलिजेंस नो इसका नीचे नहीं सो द माइंड इज एक्चुअली ट्रबलिंग द लिविंग एंटिटी सो बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट वी आर अबव द माइंड नो वी we as a person you no know, we are above the mind and mind is controlling us only because of our weakness you no know? if we become strong then mind cannot control us you no know, because we are above the mind right so knowing oneself to be transcendental to the material senses mind and intelligence oh mighty arm darjuna one should study the mind by deliberate spiritual intelligence you no know? that's krishna consciousness and thus by spiritual strength conquer this insatiable enemy known as lust you no know? he is mentioning this in the battlefield you no know, there is his enemy is duryodhana <laughs> right so in the battlefield krishna is telling your real enemy is lust and he is sitting within you no first you try to kill him <laughs> right so and then like duryodhan like no so it is mentioned a person who who has controlled the senses no like what is the power of that person he can control the entire world no that's the power of the person of a person who can control his senses no so that's that's the this one he can actually dictate everything in this world he can control the entire world the whole world ka this one usko mutti mein aa jayega that is the power of a person who has controlled his senses you no know? so we are all in the path you no know, we are trying to like you no know, progressively move towards this direction and uh, you no know, we will have you no know, one day we will have this uh, this one you no know, advancement in krishna consciousness right so now uh the art of mind control like we saw that the regulate the senses in krishna consciousness as we saw that <clears throat> various yoga systems they are trying to control these three strategic lo- locations you know where the lust sits what are the three strategic locations mind, senses mind, yeah. intelligence yeah and then just like various type of treatment they cure the disease in the same way you now these various kinds of yoga systems also trying to cure this very same problem identified common problem you no know? so no different 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 yoga systems they don't have different problem statement problem statement is no one only and the solution they try to approach in different ways right and strengthen the spiritual intelligence the lord mentions this particular thing in this particular shloka itself he was mentioning how do you strengthen the spiritual intelligence by study of scriptures you no know, by study of scriptures and by argument and by charcha you no know? like it is not that you no know, bhagavad gita acha hai hum sun lenge you know so we should have questions we should have you know why this is so why it is not like this you no know, should have arguments and you no know, charcha over this you no know, then the spiritual intelligence become very sharpened you no know? so then we will get really convinced about this particular thing you no know? so we should not 
uh, have that like you know uh, when i was speaking about this one this point so one boy actually asked no prabhu ji idhar question puch sakte hain to kyun aisa puch rahe like ne i had gone to one uh, this one spiritual organization and there i wanted to ask a question and everybody saw me like a you no know, thief or a, or a, what is that uh, huh? criminal ah huh? everybody saw me like a criminal no how dare you ask question to swami ji no you just hear and no accept whatever he says <laughs> like so then he said no no here the principle is not like that in bhagavad gita itself this thing is happening krishna is telling something and arjuna is telling no i don't feel it is practical no bhagwan ka sath aise aise ho raha hai no like no aur kuch explain kijiye like then the lord has to explain it is not that no तुम कौन है क्वेश्चन पूछने के लिए मैं तो भगवान हूं नो सो लाइक सो द लॉर्ड इज नॉट टेलिंग लाइक दैट अगर भगवान नहीं बोल रहे तो हम क्या बोलेंगे सो लाइक इट इज वी शुड एक्चुअली एनहांस आवर इंटेलिजेंस शार्पन आवर इंटेलिजेंस बाय चर्चा बाय डिस्कशंस ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल सब्जेक्ट राइट सो वी शुड नॉट जस्ट रीड वी शुड एन्क्वायर अबाउट द स्पिरिचुअल सब्जेक्ट एंड देन एंगेज द माइंड इन द सर्विस ऑफ द लॉर्ड सो दैट इज आल्सो मेंशनड हियर सो द क्वालिटी ऑफ एंगेजमेंट इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस विल एक्चुअली इंपैक्ट द माइंड so more nicely we engage in krishna consciousness it actually impacts the mind so the way to engage and the ways of engagement so that we will discuss in the next part in the next session so there is a detailed this one and we are going to come up with some kind of abhyasas some kind of practice very simple practices that we will be following in our day to day life very very simple practices that we will try to follow so we will uh, you know uh, discuss in detail in the next session actually and staying in the association of devotees no this also helps so now in this association no we don't get some provocative thoughts no when we are discussing this subject matter right so it is because of the strength of association just by being in the association no we get saved from so many no negative impacts right so all these things actually help us in the this one so now any questions the regulation of krishna consciousness we are going to see in the next session so any questions in the subject yes ma'am yeah so based on the nature and based on the personality like uh, for example one uh, one devotee was working for another another devotee you know in bangalore only this scenario so and then uh, this devotee was trying to lead a little simple life so and then the other devotee the boss you know who is very passionate he wants to expand he wants to do so many different things so then uh, the devotee was asking that then i was telling that see what is sufficient for you may not be sufficient for him so it depends it, it depends on the nature of the person you know if he is like predominantly in the mode of passion you no know, it's then he requires more engagement and more this one and uh, this uh, what is it this requires a careful guidance also and this also requires a little bit uh, what is it mature observation of ourselves you know beyond a point if our mind and senses are disturbed so then we should understand we are over endeavoring you no know? so like then we should know like where we should actually draw our line so like when that is why krishna actually mentions he doesn't say you should give up all the sense objects no he doesn't say that you can in, indulge in the sense objects but in a regulated way what is this regulation it differs from people to people you know what kind of a person what kind of a nature you no know, satpa rajas tamas what kind of combination he has got so for some people like minimalist having a bungalow and two cars you know, that may be minimal for them you no know, that is when he can be peaceful no otherwise he cannot be peaceful <laughs> you know and for some people like you know attached hurt and little bit of thoda sa like uh, what is the daily wages also is sufficient for him he can be peaceful if he can be peaceful in that he should not try to you know increase his property yeah so if he increases his property he will become disturbed you know so like at a certain for our combination of modes of nature at a certain level we will hit no material peace no and usme like satisfy ho jana chahiye you know so and how that has to be like you no know, carefully we should observe our personality and like uh, with min endeavor so what comes on our way is what is actually designed to us you no know, over endeavor kar, karke like you no know, we bring something 
that will not fit well in our life and then it will not uh, give us lasting happiness also mm -hmm. your name pu ritik So without application of Krishna conscious principles, uh, like our trigger is what? Like basic trigger is, uh, why should I be insecure? Because uh, you no, know, my friends have this, you know, people in the society have this. So if I don't have this, you no, know, I will not belong to that league. You no, know? so that may also create an insecurity actually. So first, like we have to practice Krishna consciousness to some extent, and then after that. Like uh, we should carefully decide upon, you know, at a, a little bit of spiritual equilibrium, so we'll be able to see that what is actually good for me. So why am I endeavoring for this? Is it because of competition? It is because of like other people are doing so that I want to do, or is it because like my life is very important for me, and in this life, like you no, know, I have to do these these things, and I have priority for all these things, and like very careful thought, you no, know, because of that I am doing this so that actually this this distinction actually clearly it emerges no yeah yeah so basic process of krishna consciousness has to be executed and then you no know, some level of clarity emerges no otherwise the mind will not allow you to be in clarity it will just bombard you no know, like a uh, little bit you want to you know this is there No, you see that is there. So many things the mind will bring about. The clarity will never come actually. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Journal means write down. Yeah, yeah. So you will see the difference over a period of time. So the application of process, how it is actually, you know, making the difference. See the best this one process is that, like when people uh, when people come, so they we give them a, uh, the first process that we try to do is we try to establish that scriptures are not sentimental. Now our Vedic culture is not sentimental, so this has some value in it. So then after that, like people have some interest in practicing some bits and pieces of the scripture, and then take up to the process of chanting. So chanting process like initially without quality and then gradually the quality increases and the quantity also increases and we go. I feel it is like when I entered the Kshetra, you know, like that. So then slowly, slowly like we know that form. So then what happens there? Morning, you no, know, we orient ourselves and then evening you come back and you see devotees. Evening the kirtan for the Lord, no, no. So sometimes like doing kirtan. No, like uh, whole thing. No, it gives a nice. This one, like it is always recommended before going to bed, you can do some nice spiritual activity. You no, know, reading a book set, and then you go to bed, right? So, and then you're when you get up, uh, get up early in the morning. So that also impacts a lot, actually. So doing all this, 